Kia ora folks, this short practical demonstration presents ideas of how a piece of cardboard can stop water falling out of a container, but more importantly it's about how we could rethink how we teach practical experiments. It follows up on the importance of discussion with students identifying variables and questioning the validity of the experiment. Try that again. Now this card's wet of course, will it, will it work? So, I, why I'm showing you this is there's a lot of, a lot of physics in this. I mean, the water's not coming out. And that's why. It's actually quite heavy. I don't know if you can, I mean, you can get a feel for this, but there's actually there's quite a little bit of weight in there. And um, the, pheno Oops, the phenomena, did you get that? Yeah. The phenomena uh, of this water, and I'll fill up this one now, of the water staying in there, is to do with two things, air pressure and um, surface tension of the water. So I find, what I find is the um, pizza boxes, ice cardboard, I don't know if I get pizza, I find the cardboard really good. It's just got a nice thickness to it, it's slightly thicker than the card that I was using. So I'll just try that. This is a slightly bigger jar. And again, it's the surface area or the uh, stickiness of the water that's actually holding the card. And of course, there's air pressure. There's air pressure everywhere, but it's the pressure of the air holding that card in there. So two, two things going on. Now, what could we do? How could we, what could we change that in, in an experiment in, in junior science? Well, of course, we could look at a bigger jar. So let's do that. If you don't, if you're not happy with glass, glassware, just use plastic. If you go to paint this plastic, there's lots and lots of, you can spend hours in there looking at little plastic containers. So, um, but this is what I this is what I've been thinking about. How how would I change the experiment and look at variables? And of course, one variable, of course, is the card itself, isn't it? You know, you can make it. Obviously, it's the area of the card, the thickness of the card. We we could change it from cardboard to to um, plastic. Would that work? You know, would that work on the stickiness of the water? Be interesting to see, wouldn't it? So. I have to be very careful here, of course, as the, as the weight force of the water gets greater and greater, you have to be more, more careful. Now you can see that, you can see sometimes little bubbles come up, it's the air getting in, and of course, of course if air gets in, water gets out. So the only way, really, that the water can get out is if air gets in. So if we had no air pressure at all in this room, the water would never be able to escape. But there's no air pressure. Isn't that amazing? So my question really for a class is how big could we get? How big a container could we ever get? Could we go bigger and bigger and bigger? What is the maximum volume of water? What kind of experiment could we do? And of course my big question is, well, how is that valid? Is it a, is it a trustworthy experiment? How could we improve on it? Okay, so they're looking at not just everyone loves rushing and doing it, getting the water all over, but let's actually look about, let's talk about how would we improve that investigation? What would we do? Let's discuss some of those things. You know, if I did this experiment a week later, would it be the same? If I did it with hot water, would it be the same? If I didn't use water, say I used, you know, put sugar in it, would it make a difference? So we could look at all kinds of variables there, couldn't we? You know, if I went to, to the top of Mount Everest, you know, and I did this, would it be different? 
So those are all the questions that are so important. Not just doing the experiment, but talking about the different ways of doing it. So lovely, nice. I, I, one thing I love is looking at really simple things and thinking about what we would do in the classroom. So it's so simple, eh? Thanks.